Then uh, let's move up. And this one is an installation uh, that received a lot of uh, uh, press because it was a big, big uh, landmark transaction done by by the K11 Foundation and is the work by uh, Andrew Luke. Uh, and it's something called about Savage. Again, and Andrew's a friend of mine, so Andrew, you can post the, the name because again, I forgot to take photos, my apologies. But this work, the reason is so appealing to me. And I saw this work about a year ago. This work was meant to go to the encounter section of our basel like two years ago, the one that was canceled because of COVID. Uh, it was to be there, the center, one of the centerpieces in the encounter uh, section. And uh, so they decided to put it back this year. And, and But when it got canceled, the SARS, uh, because the SARS continued with, uh, even throughout COVID, they decided to continue uh, opening the space and giving the space to artists. They decided not to stop. And Andrew managed to exhibit this work at the, the gallery, which the SARS moved to a new place in a, well, a while ago. Uh, in the south of the city, so they have these very big spaces. And uh, and uh, uh, the, the relevance of this work is that he's taking these elements that is petrifying, like uh, technology, technology that was perhaps was relevant in the 80s, and they had these organic, these beehives going around, right? And for me, what I thought it was that, that, uh, that, uh, for me, was I, I know that is something survival and savage, I think is the name of the work, but my interpretation was mostly about time and uh, how time is, it's, it's, it could be how time passes quite differently uh, depending on the, on, the, on the subject. So especially technology, these days time on technology, it passes very quickly. And I, I took the element that he's uh, petrifying the, like Discmans and uh, Walkmans and so on, technology that was quite relevant 30 years ago, and now it's like a, a fossil, which it is. I mean, I showed this to my Gen Z friends and they would look at me like, uh, what the hell is this? <laughs> this looks scary, like so many big buttons, what the hell is this? And I, I found that concept, but then you have the beehive, right? Which is, uh, which is an organic material that doesn't necessarily age. And, and then the beehive representing a colony and, 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 and which is society in general. So uh, I, I found that dualism quite interesting. Uh, again, maybe it's me thinking way ahead. I like deep thought. Uh, I found that super interesting. You have seen it from my, from my heavy questions uh, uh, series. So I found the work. I know Andrew um, personally. I talked to him. He's a fantastic artist. He's a fantastic brain. This guy is just, boom. Uh, just mentioned the book Dune to him. You're good, you're good for three hours drinking beers. Uh, he's a futurist. This guy sees the world, he's way ahead uh, in his perception to, uh, of reality in the future. That is giving him an edge now. The reason, I mean, the reason he's, he's a popular artist, one of the, the the rising stars of a, uh, well, it's quite established. I mean, the rising star, but I think globally, okay, the rising star globally. Uh, and it's because he, is, he sees reality decades ahead of any of us. Uh, maybe he's, he's, he, he has read that, do, he has read Dune too many, too many times, or so he's uh, quite into sci fi. But no, but he, he makes all sense. Hey, what would the, the dots that he's connecting are quite relevant. And he's asking the right questions for me. This question, did that, that, that conflict between time and, uh, and uh, how, how aging uh, uh, goes, affects technology versus organic material is going to be relevant, especially in the, in the age of AI. Because uh, that's an interesting question that we, we're going to let these computers and, uh, and uh, artificial intelligence to take over uh, realize that the, the lifespans are much shorter than ours. And that is, uh, that is good or that is bad. I will let you for you to decide, but this is something important that uh, when we're going to start conflicting with, with the technology in the future, it's important to realize that either them or, uh, or either technology or, or us uh, have uh, advantages and disadvantages. And time is going to be one that is quite key, uh, how time passes uh, in these, different, do, 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 these two different uh, elements. So. Fantastic work, and Andrew again. Thanks for 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 
making a, a work like that that makes me think uh, uh, like this, present this perspective. So uh, cheers to that.